Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I will be talking about some products here. I have a basket of some products. This is very unfortunate, very unfortunate. A lot of money spent on some products that I thought they would be good, but they're not my favorites and unfortunately I don't recommend them. I will still be using them. Again, this is my own personal opinion and they did not work for me, but it doesn't mean that they won't work for you. So I'm going to go through them and let you know my thoughts and why they didn't work for me. So if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing down below. It would help on my channel so much. I would really appreciate it. Now let's get right into the video. So I have filmed this look already. It's probably, I'm not sure if this look is going to be before this video or after this video, but I have used the Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture Palette and some of my other favorite products. Now let's get into this video. Okay, I don't know where to start. Let's start with a Charlotte Tilbury. Let's start with something that I would have not expected. Now, this product is not that it is a bad product. The product performs nice. It's a very interesting concept, but it's not something that you need, especially if you have a nice concealer or a nice under eye, like the Becca under eye primer. This is the Charlotte Tilbury and it is called, let me see the name of it. It doesn't even have the name of it. What is this called? It's this one. I don't know what it's called. It doesn't have a name on it. So it's the Charlotte Tilbury Under Eye Corrector. I think that's what it's called. It's pretty expensive. I will link all these products down below so that you can kind of see the prices. And I don't know if you're a big fan of them. That's great. But this is an okay product. It didn't work so good for me. Um, this is in the shade One Fair. It's supposed to cover your under eye circles, your blues and purples underneath your eyes. And it probably does that. For me, I don't have much. It doesn't do that. What it does though is that when I apply the foundation on top of it, after a while, I can see the um, peachy pink shade of this product kind of settle into my fine lines so that's why this product didn't work for me when you first apply it it's very hydrating very creamy it looks beautiful but after i applied my foundation this product seemed to have creased in my fine lines. so that's my only negative things now think about it now again i spend money on it it's expensive it's really cute packaging and I will continue using just like with all of these products, maybe with the exception of a couple, but most products in this video, I will continue using because I've spent my own money on these products and I don't want to waste the money, but I will definitely not repurchase any of these products. Now let's go in with a, I have a couple of brow products. Okay. I have three three brow products that I'm so disappointed and I have videos on them too. Now the first one is the Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the brow freeze product. I don't think you need to spend so much money on it. You can see that I have used it. I have tried it multiple times and different ways. It looks very pretty when you first apply it. Your brows look like they're frozen in time but after a while, and I mean after 10 minutes or so, after you applied your foundation, it starts to look very like the foundation around your brows right here. You can start seeing your foundation in your brows. The brows start to slowly lose their freezing system and they go back into place. They look just like this. Um, if they were to go back into place and looking like this, I have no problem. My problem is that you can start seeing flakiness and kind of like your brows have um, dandruff. That's how kind of they look like. So I don't like that look at all. And I've worn this at work. It looks fine. By the time I get to work and I look in the mirror, it looks like I have dandruff in my eyebrows. That's the only way. Maybe I will definitely continue using it. It's you know, it's a great concept. I love that you don't have to spray it. It's all in here. It's kind of like a waxy type of formula. And I don't like the flakiness in my brows. And that doesn't happen right away. So it looks beautiful right away. But after a couple, after some time, you can see the flakiness in your brows. So 
that's why I don't like this product so much. Again, I will continue using it so I can finish it up. I spend my money on it. Another product I'm not as a big fan is the Kosas Brow Pop product. Mine is in the shade brown. Okay, the packaging is beautiful. I love that it has a spoolie. So these are the positives. It's a nice uh, brow pencil. Mine, it has dried up. So I have to push extremely, extremely hard. And you can see it broke. Okay, so I have to push extremely hard for it to kind of work now. And let's see, maybe the product will look better. Nope. I have to go very, very hard. You hear that? I'm scratching my arm really, really hard um, in order for the product to show. I love the concept. It's just sometimes even this mechanism doesn't pull the product back down. I don't think it's worth the money. I think that you can have better products from the drugstore. I will not repurchase this product, but I will use it so I can finish it up. So that's kind of my negative. I know a lot of people love this product and I love, love the gel product. I own it and I love this one. I recommend this one over this one. Don't spend your money on the pen. Get one from the drugstore, but spend your money on this Kosas one. I love this one. It works so beautiful on the eyebrows. Let's go into another eyebrow. Very expensive. I love this brand. Everything about this brand I love. All of his products. And again, it's the this is the Patrick Ta Shaping Wax in the shade Clear. Very interesting concept. You can use a setting spray to spray it. You get your spoolie and you apply it. I've used this product so many times. Every way possible that you can imagine. The way that he recommends it, um, it didn't work for me. I had to do it my way a couple times. That didn't work for me. And what I mean, what didn't work for me is it does set your brows in place, just like the Anastasia Freeze Brow. However, after some time, I see the dandruff show up and it starts right around the brows. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Someone let me know down in the comments below if I'm doing something wrong. I would love to make all these products work for me. But again, it's such a beautiful, I love its packaging, just like the blushes. I love all of his blushes. I love the brush from him. I love everything from Patrita, except this product, I have wanted it to work so, so bad and it's just not working. It's very hard for me to find a waxy type of product. I love that waxy look, that freeze brow look, and I can get it done because after some time I get a dandruff type of looking brow they fall down and again i don't mind if they fall down it's understandable what i mind is the dandruff and you can actually see the product in your brows and i don't like that feeling now let's move on to morphe i haven't purchased much from morphe this is a older product and this is the high impact highlighter it's a beautiful highlighter i've used it quite a lot however after i've been introduced to some other highlighters like it looks very pretty on the hand um, there's nothing wrong with this product. I love it. It's just my fault. It's more of a yellow undertone. So that's what I don't like about it. But I will continue using this and um, let's see. Like maybe a little bit goes a long way. But yeah, it's very, I don't know. You can see it on your face, very yellow. So it's not the product's fault. The product performs good, even though it looks... Um, very uh, powdery in here it does apply very creamy it still works fine it's a great product to use for your inner corner if you would like so nothing really wrong with the product it's kind of a shade preference which is my fault so i don't think they have anything lighter than this that's why i bought this one but again it's an okay product i will definitely not repurchase it but i will use it all up Another similar one is this KVD Metal Crush Highlighter in the shade Gravitron. Uh, very similar, you see the yellow, very similar to the Morphe one. I prefer the Morphe one over this one. This is very, it has more glitters in it, so it looks more glittery. It does appear on the hand more pinky as you can see. So this is the Morphe, this is the KVD. So when you apply it has the pink reflect which is very interesting because it's yellow in the pen. So it's a 
it's interesting i haven't been using it uh, because of the glitters in it but again this is great to use like an all over the eyelid or inner corner i think the shade i might keep it on the desk and use it kind of um nice brown in the transition and add this all over the eyelid maybe i'll do that and use it that way but i'll definitely use it because it's kind of old it says six months shelf shelf life i had it more than six months but we'll see hopefully nothing happens Ooh, let's move on to a foundation now this foundation i had it for a while it's a huda my first huda beauty foundation in the shade angel food um i don't know i don't like it first of all i chose the shade too light and i think it's very very high coverage very high coverage and it settles into all of the lines on the face that i have now this is probably good for someone who has more younger skin like not mature skin like what i do and more oily skin i have very dry skin and more mature skin so i think this feels kind of like a cast that you apply to your face but maybe a little bit goes a long way i haven't used this in a while and i don't know i might have to get rid of it it looks very drying kind of like a lot of powder on your face and i don't like that feeling it looks better on the hand than it looks on the actual face but i have i still have it in my collection i paid money for it huda beauty has some really nice products that she came out with lately my favorite is her latest concealer the fall filter concealer that i recommend and i love huda beauty i love her eyeshadow palettes everything that i own by her with the exception of this first this is one of my first high-end foundation i bought and i didn't know that i had such dry skin and this would dry up my skin a lot so this is kind of my fault it's not the product's fault it is it tell it does what it tells you to do it's a very high coverage foundation again it was my fault for not knowing that my skin is so dry and i gravitate more towards illuminating foundation not such such high coverage foundation so yeah that's kind of my thoughts on it i don't know what someone else would think of that foundation as well let's go into a blush i love all blushes i have a lot of cream blushes serum blushes they all perform great now ColourPop, i bought this from ColourPop. a lot of people recommended this and i love the tubing but you can see it is very very liquidy and this is in the shade kiss kiss and it's just not i don't know here i'll put some on my hand here it's a nice shade but you can see it's very patchy so i don't know it's kind of like a lip gloss you can see no matter how i try to blend it it becomes patchy and if you blend it more it kind of goes away you don't get that nice nice blush effect on your face so i haven't been using this for a while but maybe you know it's a serum blush right so you shouldn't expect much punch of color in it but yeah i will continue using it maybe it's good to use it on like skin with no foundation nothing on your skin and just add this to your cheeks because it's a serum blush so maybe i'll use it that way because i don't want to throw it out again i spend my money on it but i will not repurchase this at all now i have two more products here one is a very new product in my collection by makeup by mario i love everything by makeup by mario with the exception of this product um i will use it again because i spend my money on it this is the master crystal reflection highlighter in the shade quartz i know some people love this but this is so glittery like it looks beautiful it looks like fairy dust very beautiful it's nice to add it on top of a uh, shadow on your eye it looks pretty but the glitters are so big that i hate the fallout you by the end of the night you'll have glitters all over your face and i don't like that look i like how it looks on the hand as a swatch and maybe when you apply it on your eye but it falls onto your face this glitters are not going to come out anytime soon you can see they're all over the hand now 
and I don't like that I don't like to see glitters all over my face by you know the end of the night and yeah I don't think I'm gonna repurchase I mean I know I'm not gonna repurchase this I will use it it's still pretty it's not bad if you like glitter I just don't like the glitter on my face and on the eye it's it's okay it's an okay product you know and it's makeup by Mario and I love makeup by Mario unfortunately this is not my favorite product and here's another product Fenty Beauty I love Fenty Beauty I love her foundation I love the what is this the ease drop I love Fenty Beauty I love Fenty Beauty lipsticks everything except this one this is I bought this because it's on sale it was on sale the Fenty Beauty Diamond Balm Triple Drip this is an all-over diamond palette fussy Fenty glow and hot chocolate fussy Fenty glow and hot chocolate I don't like this as a I've tried it many ways this I've used them as kind of a bronzer very glittery again this as a blush topper very glittery very pinky I think these are good the only way to use all of the shades are on all over the eyelid and that's it but for your face what is meant to be used for I don't suggest to use this unless you love glitter because they have you can see the chunky glitters in it and that's not my preference when I use a bronzer or a blush I like to see a nice highlighting effect and a nice glow effect but I don't like to see chunky glitters on my face so that's why I will not be repurchasing this this is a good product to use all over the eyes and probably that's how I will be using this product so this were all of the things I have lately purchased and I purchased a while ago that I don't really recommend there's no rush to go buying I will not repurchase them I will most likely continue using them because I spend my own money on them and I want to make good use out of them but they are my least favorite products in my collection based on my skin type on my skin tone and my preference so I hope this was kind of helpful I'm sure that this will work fine for a lot of you but for me it's a um, not repurchase type of product so if you enjoyed this type of video I hope it was helpful to kind of give you my um, truthful thoughts on some of these products and if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe down below it would help out my channel so much i wish you all a wonderful day always remember to be yourself and i cannot wait to see you in my next one love you guys bye